All top racing teams know that the key to a winning car is that perfect balance between power and weight. We're back at Dallara in Indianapolis to take a closer look at the science and artistry behind carbon fiber, a material that's not only extremely lightweight, it's also strong enough to stand up to major impact. I know when I came here, I was like, we gotta, we gotta bring people into this because I yeah, knew absolutely. very little about what carbon fiber is, why carbon fiber, and so much of what Delara makes is built out of carbon fiber. Correct. It's the biggest department we have here at LLC. We have probably eight people, and all we've been doing is building race car parts. So what I'm hoping is one, I bet most people out there don't have a clue. Like, what is carbon fiber? How, what is the process like to actually manipulate it, work it, mold it? And then, yeah, why? Why is it so important, especially in racing? The main reason everything goes to a composite nature is a weight savings. Okay. If we can keep racing as light, yet as safe as possible, that's the direction we need to go. Building custom race car parts from carbon fiber requires a high level of precision, and it all starts with the mold. Before carbon fiber, molds were often made of heavier stuff like fiberglass or even steel. So this is 100% carbon fiber. This took wow. two individuals two days to build. Holy crap. So it's, okay. it's a time consuming process, yeah. but we use it because it's repeatable. This particular mold has probably built 85 parts. Wow. And when you it start getting into new. those numbers, we have to make sure that it maintains its shape through the entire process. Right, so right. carbon fiber is the best at maintaining its shape. Okay. That's why we use it. Man, incredible. Carbon fiber is crazy. So, all right, if we want to make then a part from this mold, so walk me through the process because there's a lot going on in this room. So now we've got our mold. Yeah, okay. And now we have to make what we consider templates off of this mold. All right. So what we do is we have a technician that will take like a piece of plastic, lay, lay it over the mold itself. Okay. We'll trace lines and then we'll take those poly templates and we'll take it over to our digitizing board. Okay. What this does, and I'll have Dominic kind of uh, illustrate hey, as, as we go. He will pick a point and take this cursor and start, start clicking as he goes. As he clicks, it populates onto the software where those points are. So he digitized that. We'll export it into our cut file and we will populate it oh, wow. with all, all right. of these pieces. So this, this may take the cutter 15 minutes to cut. This would take me two and a half hours to hand cut. Wow. And I can't do it as precise as this thing can. Yeah. So what we have on the table is, yeah, what is, this? is a Hold roll on. of carbon fiber prepreg. It's a two by two weave, which means there's two strands that go over and then goes under two, over two, under two, but both directions. Carbon fiber is a polymer and is sometimes known as a graphite fiber. A polymer is simply a larger molecule made up of many smaller molecules called monomers. and also happens to be five times stronger than steel and twice as stiff. What's even more amazing is just how thin it is. A strand of carbon fiber is between five to 10 microns in diameter. Compare that to the human hair that's often 120 microns and you see the difference. Carbon fiber dates back to 1879 when Thomas Edison, yes, the Thomas Edison inventor, innovator, black belt creative behind the light bulb to the movie projector, who had over 1,000 patents, also had his creative fingerprints all over this invention too. Edison baked cotton threads or bamboo silvers at high temperatures, which carbonized them into all carbon fiber filaments. These carbon fibers are made from a process that is part chemical and part mechanical. It starts by drawing long strands of fibers, which are actually made of high-tech plastics, and then heating them to a very high temperature, around 5,500 degrees. But what is left is something truly remarkable and incredibly strong. When applied to car parts like IndyCar, the safety, stability, and weight just can't be beat. All right, so we got it laid out, you've cut it, so then kind of, yeah, what, what's your next steps? The technician will then take it out and put it actually into the mold. Okay. We got a couple examples in here. So this gentleman here is building a, an IR18 engine cover for the IndyCar series. I was gonna say, it looks like an IndyCar front. This mold went through the same process. We made templates, we digitized everything, we put it into a, a file, and then we, we cut this. These particular parts take about 80 square feet to build one. 
I didn't even realize like you would do it in layers. Like you might have one that's got several, 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 yeah. and others that have just two or so. So do you have to like, because the resin is already in the material, like do you prep it in any way or is it literally just gonna stick to the next layer? It, it literally just sticks to the layer in front of it. No kidding. Yep. But yeah, as you can feel, it's like kind of a light tacky. Like it's tacky, yeah. Yeah. God, it gets... it's so light, like and just flexible. So from here, we will take it out to what we would consider our bagging area. Okay. And then we'll actually put this in a large bag and pull a vacuum on it. You've extracted all of the air out of this part. Right. Allowing you to get equal pressure all the way across. Now it's completely compressed the material to the mold right. and it's withdrawn all the air. We will then walk it over to our autoclave, which is a gigantic pressure cooker. I was wondering what this thing is. It's yeah, so this is enormous. This is actually what, what makes the whole process work for us. Wow. So what this does is it heats up to whatever we set the temperature to be. Okay. With that, we're also adding pressure to the part. So okay. that is actually consolidating the material to the mold as tight as it can. Wow. There's so much going on just in this one piece of equipment. We will then extract it. We'll take it off of the mold. All right. And we'll, we'll take it to the trimming area. Once the part has been cut, layered and cured in the autoclave, the remaining rough edges are trimmed away and it's ready to go. The result is incredibly strong and lightweight. So this actually just came off of that mold I showed you in there. In the oh, yeah, it looks exactly like it. Yeah, so, yeah. You picked that mold up. You saw how it's, how heavy it was. It was, was. decent. Give give this one, give this one a, a view. Oh my gosh, dude. So that's why the industry is what? going the direction it can, because now it allows the teams and everyone involved, they don't have to worry about this being heavy. They can put that weight and power yeah. somewhere else. I would even, I don't know what that weighed. I'm bad on my math, but that feels like about 15. I would agree with that. It's probably about, about 15, 15 pounds. pounds. This, this weighs like a pound. It's if I mean if that. That's I don't know. that's the beautiful part about it's ounces. about carbon fiber. It's man, that's crazy how strong that is too. This is what if you want lightweight and fast, this is this, this, this is where you gotta is, go. This is the direction you have to go. Man, Absolutely. Dude. One of the things I really appreciate about composites is every every part you have your personal sweat in it like that's you made that part yeah that sense of pride is is huge and then you go to get to see it go around a track and oh yeah another element i think everybody hears about carbon fiber parts so you might have a part or two on your car maybe not Correct. like this but the artist in me like seeing the process of like what it takes from how do you design it and work it all together and like what it takes to actually make these parts is it's a creative process man it's awesome wow. The sculptor in me is loving all of this. <laughs> you you give me about 30 minutes, I can have you build race car parts. Yeah, which is crazy. I mean, we can make it. Easy, we can make man. it happen. Man, thanks for giving us a glimpse. Absolutely, it's, it's been a it's been a pleasure.